Good morning, I'm Mrs. Engel, one of the counselors at Granada High School, and today joining me I have Mrs. Mintz, who's our Career Center, College and Career Center Specialist, and we're going to talk with you today about opportunities for funding your post-high school education, um, including um, options for funding training at a vocational school, at community college, and also uh, at four-year universities. So you guys have probably heard about financial aid and you're, uh, I want to give you a little information on how you actually go about applying for uh, financial aid. The financial aid package is, con is called the FAFSA, the actual process of going through it. And FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. It's the application that students must fill out in order to determine uh, eligibility for all sources of federal and state financial aid for essentially every college within the United States. You will need your parents' assistance with this. It's actually something you will need to do together. The reason for that is because the FAFSA will be based on your parents' 2013 tax forms. Please note that the FAFSA deadline is March 2nd, which is prior to your uh, parents needing to file their taxes by April 15th. So if they haven't filed their taxes by March 2nd, you will estimate the tax information on the FAFSA website. However, once their, their taxes are actually filed in April 15th, you'll need to go back and make any adjustments to that information, even though it'll be after uh, the deadline. So the FAFSA is based on your parents' income level, and um, one of the important things to know is that you do not want to pay to fill out the FAFSA form. So if you get online and you end up at a website that actually uh, asks you to pay something, you are not on the correct FAFSA website. Uh, the FAFSA website you'll want to go to should be up on your screen at this point, um, so you can see that. Also, uh, when you do fill out the FAFSA, you're going to want to make sure that you list all the colleges that you have applied to. That includes community college or even if you haven't applied to the community college, you may consider putting Las Positas or DVC or one of those in as a backup uh, just in case. Um, because after you submit your application, uh, you're going to get, and the schools have accepted you, you will receive essentially what they call an award package um, from each school that you've been accepted to, and it will determine what you're eligible for and how much you will receive in the way of grants and loans. And so you'll, you may use that information, review that information from each school that you've been accepted to before you actually make the decision on which school you're going to attend. But again, and remember that you must submit your FAFSA by March 2nd. That's the absolute deadline to receive the maximum amount of, of uh, funding that you can. And also remember that this is free, so make sure you don't end up paying for it. Are you Italian Catholic? Do your parents work at a winery? Do you want to be a teacher? These are just some of the scholarships that are available to you guys right now. The Career Center has a wealth of information about scholarships, and all seniors should be applying for scholarships right now. Various scholarships are available to all of you guys, and some of those include scholarships based on athletics, academics, your religion, your ethnicity, your college majors, your volunteer work and community service, and many more. You can visit the Career Center website right now to see a list of available scholarships that you should be applying for. Or you can come into the Career Center and visit our scholarship section to pick up actual applications. You can also use online sites such as fastweb.com and scholarships.com to look for scholarships. More online sites are listed on the Career Center website, but right now all seniors should be applying for the scholarships that are available to you. I also want to talk to you a little bit about the Cal Grant, which is essentially a grant for students in the state of California. To qualify, you must meet financial requirements as well as have a minimum GPA. The Cal Grants can be used at any UC university, any CSU, community college, private schools, or vocational schools within the state of California. There are three types of Cal Grants, the A, B, and C. For example, the Cal Grant A requires a minimum GPA of a 3.0 and the Cal Grant B requires a minimum GPA of a 2.0. Therefore, the Cal Grant verification form is, that you're getting today is very important because what, how much you're awarded in, in Cal Grants is based on responses on your FAFSA as well as uh, the GPA that Ms. Mintz will submit electronically once you have given this, turned this form in to her. So this form must be submitted to Ms. Mintz in the Career Center no later than February 14th 
again, no later than Friday, February 14th, so that she can submit your GPA electronically. And also, you must meet the March 2nd deadline for the FAFSA in order to qualify, potentially qualify for free money through the Cal Grant. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the self loans. Self loans are available to all LVJ USD graduates and Livermore residents. These are no interest loans from the Livermore Student Education Loan F Fund, also known as SELF. These loans may be used when you continue your education either at a community college, a four-year college, or a technical vocational school. These loans are available for up to $2,500 per year. There is no interest charge, but you are expected to repay the loans upon graduating college and a co-signer such as your parent is required when doing the self loans. Applications can be found online at the website on the screen and must be submitted no later than July 1st, 2014. So you may have heard of the Pedrozzi Scholarship. The Pedrozzi Foundation is a local organization that was founded to assist graduates of the Livermore Valley Joint Unified School District with assistance in scholarship form for paying for their post high school education. These are awarded to students whose goals may be um, attending a four year university for a bachelor's uh, as well as advanced degrees like a master's degree. But they are also available for students who plan to attend a community college and also for students that plan to attend vocational or trade schools. Pedrozzi can significantly lower the cost of education, particularly for those students who are attending community college. We strongly encourage all students to apply for the Pedrozzi Scholarship. The applications must be completed and submitted online to the web address listed on the screen no later than March 2, 2014. Last year, the Pedrozzi Foundation awarded 38 scholarships to Granada graduates. Make sure you mark your calendars for Thursday, February 13th at 7 o'clock p.m. where we will hold a financial aid workshop for all students and parents. Get all your financial aid questions answered at this workshop. We will be holding the workshop in the Student Union. Once again, the date is Thursday, February 13th at 7 o'clock p.m. So please know that if you have any specific questions regarding Cal Grants, the FAFSA, or scholarships, feel free to come see me in the Counseling and Career Center at any time. Thank you.